Welcome to this video all about how to upload your book to BookFunnel and then create a download page. So the first thing that you're going to need to do before you create a download page is uh, create an account on BookFunnel. Now BookFunnel, in case you don't already know, is a great way of delivering reader magnets to people who've signed up to your mailing list or to send out advanced copies of your book to your review team. Of course, it isn't a free service. I'll just go up to pricing here. Uh, you do either have to pay $20 for a year, and that gives you 500 downloads a month, which is for up to five books as well, uh, which is perfect for a beginner just starting out. Um, so definitely look into this one if you're just coming onto here for the first time. Uh, but there are other options like $100 or $250 for a year, which gives you 5,000 or even unlimited downloads. So perfect for people who are bringing large amounts of people onto their mailing list at once. There's also monthly options at very reasonable 10 and $25 at time of recording. Now I'm not going to show you the process of signing up because that should be fairly straightforward and you can do it by just pressing the sign up button up there. Uh, but once you've got your account ready, we'll continue on with first of all uploading your book to BookFunnel and then creating a download page. Okay, so this is the BookFunnel dashboard, presuming that you're on either the uh, yearly or monthly plan and so the first thing that you'll need to do is add a book so there are two really easy ways to do this you can either go up here and click add new and then add new book or you can just go click on books and come over here and press add new book so we'll do that and here is the page this is everything that you'll need to fill out in order to add your book to book funnel so the first thing you need to do is uh, go through any of the things that are uh, essential, like these three. So let's put in one of my books. Um, you can select book type, so things like full book, novella, stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, open that up again. Uh, select your author name if you've got multiple ones. Uh, if you're on the yearly one, you'll only have the, the, the one pen name available. You can add things like series, volume numbers, things like that. And I'll just grab some information quickly for there we go, just off screen for that, for things like book description and the tagline. Here we go. Of course, uh, you can spend as long as you want um, updating this for, you know, however it suits you. And then once you've got all the details for your book ready, you just need to upload your files. So this is pretty easy. You can just click there and get a drop down menu, or you can just choose the file you want, drag it over, and it'll automatically upload. So I'm uploading the uh, the Mobby file for Kindle. And once that's done, I will also upload the front cover artwork, which we want to be displayed as well. So once those are done, you can also upload things like PDF and EPUB files, of course. But once all that's done, all you have to do is click Save and Close. Ooh, no, I have to select a type. So you do have to select a type, full book, and then save and close. So now that you've uploaded your book to BookFunnel, it's time to create a download page, which luckily is just as simple, as straightforward as uh, uploading your book in the first place. So let's say that you want to, you're, you're, you're using BookFunnel to send out your reader magnet to people who've signed up to your mailing list. So you could um, you know, send a link to your readers or you could send review copies to your you know, your advanced team. Um, either way, you click on these and you then click on, click here to create a download page. So you've got the option of creating it for different books, but presuming that you uh, this is the first book that you're uploading, hence why you're watching this video, uh, it should automatically select the one that you've just gone through. Now, um, for the sake of uh, this, say the simple download page without email collection, but you may want to create an email sign-up page that does collect emails uh, to add to your mailing list, but I'm presuming that you've already got their email and now you're gifting them the free book that you promised. So go, come down here and click Create Landing Page. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, create your download page name. So let's just call it Checking Out Freebie. This is just for you, your readers won't actually be able to see this, it's just so that you know which page this is in case you have uh, multiple pages for the same book. You can set an expiration date uh, or a download limit. Um, obviously if you put an expiration date then 
at the, after that point the uh, download will become uh, nullified people won't be able to download your book and if you put a download limit of 500 copies then person 501 won't be able to get it uh, so I'm going to leave them both blank presuming that we want as many people as possible who sign up with the mailing list to get it without any hindrance then you can click on landing page settings expand that window here and you've got uh, what looks a lot more complicated, but is actually very, very straightforward. You can uh, choose your page layout. It's basically how you want the, uh, the book giveaway to look. Um, you've got the 2015, 2016 default and default wide options. Um, obviously, experiment, see which one that you prefer the look of. I quite like the book funnel default. You can choose the, uh, the background color of the page so black and gray solid black solid white and white and gray so not exactly colors a bit monochrome but you know choose whichever one you want and then you can choose an accent color so uh, obviously I'm, I'm gonna just go with blue because why not uh, you can create 3d effects so it gives it a bit of a um, uh, gives the image that it's got multiple pages behind it just makes it look a little bit cooler you can turn that on and off the automatic thing will be for the title to be download and then your book title you can change the button text, so get my book, get my free book, uh, get my story, free story, or just download, things like that. Um, obviously, cho again, choose whichever one you want. You can amend the heading, so uh, you can have the book's tagline, or you can uh, you know, have download your copy of, checking out, or whatever. Uh, and you can decide what you want for the page text as well. So uh, I think it's usually best just to use the book description that you've already uploaded when you uploaded your book because that's the one that you're presumably using on websites or that you've explicitly written for BookFunnel. Uh, so that's pretty much straightforward. You can go to Preview and have a look, very quick look, and here you go. This is a preview of what my page will look like. It's pretty straightforward. It looks very easy to use, so that's all great. We'll go back. And you can also go down to uh, advanced settings, but unless you're uh, unless you're planning to put things like uh, download limits or um, timed limits, then it doesn't really matter. You can also add Facebook Pixel, but that's probably a bit more complicated than we what we are looking at right this moment. And then all you have to do is come down here and go save and close, and there you go. You have a download page where people can now download your free book that you are giving out as a reader magnet on your mailing list. All you have to do is uh, add one of these links to your um, you know, welcome email or, or however else you want to you know, give your readers the opportunity to download your book and it's pretty straightforward from there.